The tsetse fly that transmits the sleeping sickness parasite to humans is found in a vast territory of 36 African countries, with the disease prevalent in 19 of them. Within a country, sleeping sickness affects areas from small villages to entire regions. Rural populations who rely on agriculture, fishing, animal husbandry and hunting are the most exposed. More than 80% of patients live in Democratic Republic of Congo. Central African Republic, Congo Brazzaville, Chad, South Sudan, Angola, Uganda, Gabon, Guinea, and Equatorial Guinea are also among the most affected countries. The impact of conflicts is manifest in that they disrupt health systems and force people to flee. Uganda in the 1980s is an illuminating example. The civil war in Uganda drove people in the northwest of the country to seek refuge in what is now South Sudan, where sleeping sickness has always been present. Meanwhile, the tsetse fly proliferated on land left uncultivated in Uganda. When the refugees returned home, people who had been infected in Sudan, who had become human parasite reservoirs, brought the disease back into Uganda. In 1986, cases of sleeping sickness soared in the region. In 2009, for the first time in half a century, fewer than 10,000 cases of the disease were reported, but in reality, there were probably more like 30,000. As long as people continue to carry the parasite, the human reservoir won't dry up and the tsetse fly will continue to spread the disease. The danger lies in regions where the disease is considered almost eradicated, as health services may relax their vigilance. <laughs>